Hey guys! Okay, I'm so sorry if you can hear the fan, but if I don't have that on, I'm gonna be really sweaty. And I do not want to be that, like, sweat monster just because, like, you might be able to hear, like, a touch of background noise. You probably won't even be able to hear it, but in case you can, in case you have, like, super cat hearing, I apologize. So, I am doing my empties video today. I love doing these. I'm gonna try to start doing monthly videos, which is what I'm doing here. We're gonna see how it goes. I do have less than I normally do, but uh, that means that I have more time to talk about it and actually review it for you. I have an empties playlist, which I will link down below in case you wanna see. And uh, here we go. Also, tweet me your empty videos on Twitter at Younging19 because I love empty videos. They are my favorite videos to watch on YouTube, that and Project Pan videos. So, tweet them to me because I have nothing to do with my time and I would like to watch all of your videos. So I keep my empties in this little cube thing that I got at Target when Target was here and didn't hate Canada and leave us with Walmart as our only fucking option. Thanks, Target. God, they were so much cleaner than Walmart is. So I'm just gonna run through, no rhyme or reason, and uh, here we go. First thing, I used this up today. This was the Salted Caramel Foaming Hand Soap from Bath & Body Works. This smelled really strange. <laughs> I don't know if I can say that I liked it, um, it was very sweet, which kind of bothers me with hand soaps because I don't like my hands to smell sweet. I like them to smell like fruity. Um, it was fine. It was just strange. Um, I used this up today as well. Lots of empties. This is the Crown Brush Makeup Brush Cleaner. I have had this for over two years because I just like spot clean like once a month when I'm like, I should clean my brushes, but I don't want to spend half an hour doing that, so I'm just going to spot clean them finally. And there's like a tiny bit left in there, but... It's empty and I'm doing an empties video and it's done now. I get this off of Hot Look and this size is like $8 on there so it lasted me like two years so I think it's a pretty good deal. Okay then I used up the Maui Hibiscus Beach uh, shower gel from Bath & Body Works. This smelled really good. I don't know how people can go through shower gels in like a month. This took me two and a half months to use up and that was me squeezing out like a ton on my loofah, getting it lathered, my whole body was covered in bubbles. I don't know how you can use up so much of this in such a short amount of time. These are big ass bottles. Um, I only have like a backstop of backstock words of five of these. I don't buy a whole bunch of shower gels because I know it takes me a ton of time to go through them, but hopefully in the next four months you'll see another one. Okay, then I used up this wine, and this is the Barefoot Moscato. So I go to this restaurant once every like four months because it's so fucking expensive. It's called Vivo, it's in Terwilliger, amazing Italian food. If you live in the area, go. Get the Caesar salad, it will change your life. And they had this, I think it's like a something Moscato. It's the best wine I've ever had in my life. Like, I would pay so much money for a bottle of that, but I couldn't find it. Like, none of the liquor stores around me carry that particular Moscato wine. So, I just started to try Moscato wines, and it's it's pretty similar. It's not, like, as bubbly, but, oh my god, so much better than white wine if you like a sweet with, like, a hint of bubbles, but not, like, champagne bubbly. So good. And Barefoot is like, what is this, like $10? And oh, it's so good. It's so good. I really like it. So I'm switching over from like rosés and white wine to Moscato wines, and I'm enjoying the transition. It's nice. It's a nice time. Okay, this is something that I just think I've kind of used on its last leg, and it's really old. I've had this for like three years. <laughs> it's a Clean and Clear Advantage Acne Spot Treatment, and it works. But, first of all, I don't use it because I use the exposed, like, spot treatment stuff. And also, again, I've had it for three years. I haven't used it in a couple of months. Um, but when I just got it, when I first got it, and when it was in its prime, when it was in its youth, it worked like a charm. And I will pick up another one of these when I'm done the other spot treatments, but, um... I think I gotta get rid of it. I gotta just move it along. Okay, I used up two candles. First of all, this one is still warm because it just went out, like it's right all the way to the wicks. This is the Baltic Black Pearl from Bath & Body Works, and this was amazing. If you're sensitive to smells, this is, it doesn't have a very large scent throw, but you can smell it from far away, and it smells just light, like someone had sprayed perfume hours before and you're just kind of getting the hint of it. It's so relaxing. Like, I was never one to buy into these, like, relaxing candles, but it's so nice, and it burned really quickly. Like, it burned a lot faster than their other candles. Like, these are my marks like this was one day of burning because I like to mark my candles I'm weird I don't know it's like down to here it burned really low too this is one of the lowest burning candles I've ever had it lasted me a good two and a half weeks burning it like every other day for a couple of hours which is still great like I feel like I got my money's worth but 
I almost like that it burned a little bit faster because then I don't get sick of the smell. I would absolutely repurchase this if I saw it and um, yeah, I thought it was great and it burned really well. It wasn't smoky. The wicks were great. Good candle. Okay, the other candle was the butterscotch toffee. This was really strong. This I could only burn for like an hour at a time because it gave everyone in my house a headache. It smells good, but again, if you're sensitive to smells or if you have like a small room, it's going to overpower it really quickly. So this took me a long time to burn. That actually might be why that one burned so fast is because I could burn it for hours at a time and no one complained about it. Um, I like the candle. I wouldn't repurchase it just because like I can't enjoy it if I'm just like timing it for like, oh, it's been an hour, gotta blow it out. It was really strong. It was fine. It smells very vanilla-y. It smells kind of smoky, like this one had a little bit of smoke on it, but it's a nice candle. If you like strong vanilla-y sort of toffee scents, this would be great for you, but um, yeah, I wouldn't repurchase it. Okay, I finally used up this huge Pantene Pro-V um, conditioner. I, I got this from my mom when it was like halfway done, quarter of the way done, whatever, and I used it as conditioner, and then I also used it to shave my legs, and after I exfoliated my body, like I really roughly exfoliate my arms before I go out tanning and stuff, um, I put conditioner over top, <laughs> which is a little bit weird, but it, it feels like it's doing something so I continue to do it plus this is so big that you get tired of it and you just want to try something new so I was just kind of using it in like random ways I was like oh let's just like rub it in my arms let's like rub it on my legs get my leg hair all soft because I haven't shaved in a week because I'm fucking lazy so <laughs> It's nice. I wouldn't repurchase bottles like this that are this big because it already takes me a long time to go through like normal conditioner. I don't use a whole bunch. I just use it on like the very ends of my hair. Um, but I mean, if you like big bottles, this is good. It smelled good. Hair was soft. It did its job. I just, I like smaller bottles. I used up another wine. This was the Arbor Mist in Raspberry. I didn't like this. It tasted like cough medicine. I still drank it because, let's be honest, after the first cup, you don't really care about the taste. You care about, like, wow, I'm feeling buzzed. This you now is so much fun. I, I often do drunk you nows, in case you haven't noticed. My you now link is down below. You should fan me, and next time I'm on, you can enjoy this ride with me. All right, then I used up some of my Delon Plus cotton things. I got these from Costco. They come in a set of eight. I'm actually on my last set, so I've used up, like, 800 cotton rounds over the last year. Go me. Obviously, I have got my Afina eye makeup remover. I go through basically one of these a month, get these off of Melaleuca.com from my grandparents, and it's a really, really good makeup remover. Doesn't hurt my eyes, it gets really everything off. I like it. I used up a deodorant. This is one of my last Lady Speed Stick ones. I really love this scent, but it doesn't do shit for sweating. Um, I'm now on to... what am I on to? What is that? That's a secret, secret pH balancing one that I'm on to now. I've got like four of those. This smells way better. I just sit here smell my deodorant. It really smells good, but it doesn't do anything like sweat still comes through and I sweat a lot like a lot a lot So I need something to kind of control that and not just have like an odor thing because I don't really smell ever I just sweat a lot. So I don't know. It smells good I would totally get it in the winter when I'm sweating less, but as it's hot outside I'm a sweaty monster, so I need something a little more powerful than lady speed stick Okay, then I used up two lotions first one is the uh, Bath and Body Works brown sugar and fig I liked it. I didn't love it. I mean, it's not one of those scents where I was like, ew, but it wasn't one where I was like, I'm just gonna smell myself all night. And that's kind of what I'm searching for is like the ones that I'm just like, oh yeah, and not just like, I mean, it's fine. So I wouldn't repurchase this. I think I have one of the like, shea butter ones, one of the big tubes, shea butter ones that sounded like one of those like, better, better. Okay. Um, it's nice, it's fine. I use this after the shower and one of these takes me about three weeks to use up. And then I also used up my little Hello Body Butter from Harvey Prince. I made an order for two perfumes then I got this for like $1.50. I don't like the scent of this. I don't like the consistency of this. I love the Hello perfume but this smells nothing like it. It's very... I don't know, it just smells more musky than that perfume, but like in a bad way where it's like, oh, this could almost be B.O. So I just kind of like used it halfway very sparingly for a while, and then one day I was like, you know what, we're just doing a full fucking body of this, and then I let it soak in, and then I did a layer of a lotion I really like to kind of just use it up. So wouldn't repurchase it, but if you like the smell of this body lotion, like this size was $1.50, so you get a lot for $1.50. 
use up some birth control because still not getting pregnant, still 19, still single, so. Okay, I also used up this, I think this was in a Beauty Box 5 box. It's the Dermalogica um, Active Moist Sample. I didn't like the smell of this, so I didn't like putting it on my face. I actually just got a bit of a sunburn this weekend, so I was putting it on my sunburn. And I also scraped my knee, like, really bad. I'll stand up and show you. I don't know what it's from, but, like, look at my fucking knee. <laughs> Look at this shit. So <laughs> I'm wearing pajama shorts. Um, I put this on that and it helps kind of like make it more moisturized and like the scrape is kind of going away. So I'm sure it's great, but I hated the smell. So there was no fucking way I was putting this on my face. All right, the rest of it is makeup. So we've got two things from my Project Pan, and that update is far enough away that I feel like it's appropriate for me to include these as kind of like a hint for you. Um, I finally, oh my god, finally used up my Sephora number no. three lipstick. Nothing left. Oh my god, this took me so long. So long. And I really don't like it. Like, using it up in the project pan made me realize how much I hate this lipstick. It fills into the lines of your lips, so your lips look shitty. It smudges all over the place. It's just not, uh, uh, uh. No, 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 no more of that. I used up the Forever Red body spray. Is there more in there? No. Oh, oh, ooh. One final room spray. Uh, but I used this up. I love this. Um, I wouldn't buy a little size of this anymore because I, I just, it goes by so fast. If I was going to get this, I would get it in a lotion, which I actually got back there, or I would get it in like a full-size body spray because it is really nice. It's great as a clothing spray. It's great as a room spray. Um, not great as a body spray because it like lasts for five minutes, but if I was going to get it because I do like the scent, I would get it in the big size. Okay, I'm getting rid of this mini pure um, foundation powder. This wasn't the products I want to use up in 2015, but it's just so old, and I was swatching it the other day, and it just, I don't like it. I'm going through the big size right now, and I also don't like it. I loved these when they were new, but I just, I don't know if it's like the amount of times that I used it, and then the oil was on it, and I, it just doesn't work, or if my skin's changed, I don't know, but it's very old. I don't feel comfortable using it anymore, and I just, I'm not in love with the product anymore, so I'm just gonna throw this away. Also, I will do an update on the products that I want to use up in 2015 in the next couple of days because I know that I haven't done that and it's probably past the halfway mark, but you will see an update and I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing, I'm doing so good. Okay, this I'm going to give away to a friend, I think, I don't know, if someone wants it. If not, I'm going to throw it away. It's the NYX um, Moonlit Skinny Dip Trio. I just have all of these colors in things that I actually use, because I only use palettes. I don't use single eyeshadows. There's no reason for me to have single eyeshadows, because I never fucking reach for them. So this is just a waste of space, and it's used up enough that I'm not going to, like, sell it to anyone. Um, I get rid of old makeup on my vlog channel if anyone wants to buy it. And uh, this, it's just, it's too used. Like, most of these are almost at pan, so if my friend wants it, fine. If not, it's it's been used enough that I'm comfortable throwing it away. So first of all, I used up this Bite Beauty lip gloss. Oh my god, this is the smallest right I've ever seen. Uh, I don't, it's, there's something over it. I think it's in five. I don't know. But you can see that I scraped around the edges here. Does that help? Probably not. But, um, I don't like the texture of these. They're almost too sticky. I don't like the color payoff of these. I just, I'm not a huge fan of these. Plus, not to mention, when you get this much of a lip gloss used up, the brush starts to get really gross. So you get, like, little particles and hairs and shit on your lips. So, done with that. Um, I also, this is really sad, but I do have a backup, finished the Buxom White Russian Lip Gloss. I scraped every little bit of this. This is one of my top five lip glosses ever. I do have another mini size, but I'm trying to work through other lip glosses before I go back to my favorite. I love the smell. I love the tingling sensation. I love the color. It's just one of my favorite lip glosses. And after I've done the other sample size at the 20% off VIB sale, I'm getting a full size for sure. Okay, I used up my last clear gloss. This is from Star Lux. I think that this is what might have been irritating my lips. Um, if anyone remembers a couple of vlogs back, I talked about how I got like some bumps on my lips. It, it was really old and then there was only a little bit left so I was using it a lot in a day and I was like sleeping with it on just to kind of use it up and I woke up one day and I had like all these bumps on my lips so I just called it quits. I mean there's a little bit left in there but I'm not going to risk it by putting something that I think is irritating my lips back on my lips. So I mean it was nice. I enjoyed clear glosses but I wouldn't get this again because I think it was what was fucking up my lips. Okay, and then the last thing, this is my Clinique Chubby Stick in Curvy Candy. It's just a pink color. I dug down a little bit in there. I can't even swatch it for you. It's like 
going back on itself. Okay, there's a little fucked up swatch, but I liked it. It was really easy to use, really nice pink color. You just put this on, put a little bit of right, white, right Russian, oh my god, the Buxom lip gloss over top, and it was beautiful. I just, these are great. I wouldn't repurchase these though, because I have a couple that I'm trying to go through still, and I just don't really use the Clinique Chubby Sticks. They're almost too, like, lip chap-like, um, and to use that, I'd rather something be, like, in a lipstick tube. Anyways, that is my empties. I really didn't feel like I had that much stuff, but I feel like this is probably about as much as I typically have. So go me! I can do these monthly empties. I believe in myself now. Amazing. Um, I'm sure next month I'll have a foundation. I'm, like, halfway done two of them, and I'll probably have a powder, and and it's gonna be great. I'm very excited for you to see my next month empties because there's gonna be a lot more makeup in there. Although, can we talk about how impressive all that lip gloss stuff was? That was a lot of lip products, and my collection is so small now with my lip products. Like, my Alex and I drawer used to go all the way to the back and be layered over twice, and now it's like half halfway. And also, if you guys want an updated makeup collection video, let me know because it's finally at a place where I'm like able to rotate through everything and I feel very comfortable with where all my stuff is at and it's not like overwhelming to open a drawer. So if you want to see, I've downsized a lot and it feels really nice to like look at all my products and be like, you know, I like that, I like that, but I'm going to use that today. I just like everything that I have. So let me know what you have used up recently or send me your video through titter, titter? That was a mixture of Tinder and Twitter. Send me your video through Twitter and share this video on Twitter and Tumblr and Facebook. It really, really helps out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!